traveling with dogs is wonderful. And really we found the best way to travel with dogs is in an RV. We travel in a Class B RV, so it's pretty small. And we've learned a few things about traveling with dogs while we've been on the road. So I thought I would share with you today our top 10 tips on traveling in an RV with dogs. We're Tim and Diane, and we've decided not to wait until retirement to let our travel dreams come true. We travel in our camper van Elsie with our two dogs, Peggy and Ellie, running trails and living life. Come join us. Tip number one is to know the rules of your campground or RV park. Every location has their own rules, so make sure that dogs are allowed before you decide to camp at a location. A lot of campgrounds and parks also have a limit on the number of dogs. Most limit to two. Some also have limitations on the breeds that you can bring in, and they exclude those that are considered aggressive breeds. So if you're looking to get a new dog, and you plan to camp, keep that in mind when you choose which dog to get. If you already have a dog that's considered an aggressive breed or you have more than two, just know that that's gonna limit your options. Some campsites also have restrictions against leaving your dog outside unattended, not allowing you to tether them, and some of them also have off-leash areas, and those can be really nice to have a place where you're allowed to let your dog roam around without a leash on. The second tip should go without saying, always clean up after your dogs. Keep an eye on them, notice when they poop, and clean it up. It's the polite and responsible thing to do. And if we don't abide by the rules, one day they may not even let us bring our dogs. So to keep being able to bring your dogs to a campsite, always clean up. Tip number three, have a safe way to travel. We found a really great travel crate to use with the girls that fits on our back seat on the couch and attaches onto the headrest. That way the crate is secure and the dogs feel so much more comfortable. We were moving the van just slightly one time and they got so nervous because we didn't put them in their crate. That is their comfortable spot and it's also where they sleep at night. Tip number four, get a water bowl that doesn't spill. You'll want a bowl with a wide base that has some type of rubber or something on the bottom that will keep it from sliding around. We found a bowl we really like because it doesn't keep water on the top, so if anything falls into it, it doesn't get wet. It has a lid that floats on the top of the water, and the dogs just have to push down on that lid to get the water to come up so they can drink. It took the dogs a little bit to get used to it, and we used it in our apartment for a while before we put it in the van where it was their only source of water. Always make sure you have water available for your dog. Find a little nook where you can stick the bowl away so that you don't kick it all the time. And if you get one that doesn't have water sitting on the top, then when things fall, they don't get in their water. Tip number five, know your dog. Know your dog's limits and what your dog needs. Make sure your dog gets plenty of exercise and has everything it needs to be happy. Know if you can leave your dog alone or if it tends to be a barker. We want our dogs to enjoy our camping experience as much as we do. Peggy is our old girl and a champion sleeper. She loves to sniff around places, but can't go on long walks like she used to. 
so she's pretty low maintenance. She loves to travel and find new smells to smell. She does bark some, so we have to do a little correcting. But she adjusted well to apartment life and does really well in the van also. Ellie is our young girl. She's about five years old and has a lot of energy. She's a Chihuahua mix. We did a doggy DNA test on her and she's purebred Chihuahua on one side and pure mutt on the other. She has a lot of energy so she really likes to go on walks. So we have to make sure we give her some exercise. She's also a good traveler. Both of our dogs are rescue dogs. Well, we aren't sure of their backgrounds. They certainly are good companions for us. Tip number six. Keep a routine. Dogs love routine. Then they know what to expect. So try to maintain a similar routine to what you do at home. It can differ, but maybe try to feed your dog at the same time. Set expectations so your dog knows what's going to happen and doesn't have to be fearful. Come on, time to travel. Good girl. Travel. Yep, time to travel. Good girl. Yay, good girls. Tip number seven, learn how to keep your vehicle cool. We've used a lot of trial and error to figure out the best way to keep our van cool. Keeping shades on the front windows helps keep the sun out. And then using the fantastic fan and some opened windows really help too. I've spent a lot of time in the van with the dogs in the afternoon just to make sure that the heat is okay for them before I leave them alone. Some people also have monitoring devices that they'll use. Um, we haven't tried any of those, but I hear they can be good to let you know if anything happens uh, where the temperature rises in the van unexpectedly. Uh, but we want to keep our dogs safe no matter what we do. So learn what works best in your van and use your available resources to help keep your dogs comfortable. Tip number eight, clean your floors every day. These guys really shed. So dog hair will get everywhere if you don't keep control of it. We keep a small broom and dustpan in a cabinet that we can get to easily every morning to sweep the floor. When we're plugged in, we take the opportunity to vacuum, but even just sweeping every day helps keep that pet hair from building up. Oh, the dirt and the dog hair. Tip nine, keep a towel by the door. That way, when your dogs come in wet or with muddy paws, you have something to wipe them off right away. And tip number 10 is have fun. That's the point of travel anyway. So have fun with your doggies whatever that means for you. <laughs> <Ellie. gasps>